All right, question number 10. And again, this is from your practice exam on our website. How to calculate the cost depreciation approach to value. Hey folks, welcome back, welcome back. This is question number 10 on your math practice exam on our website at www.climberrealestateschool.com. And it's under the resources and this is a math practice exam for your sales associate license. Now this is question number 10 and it's a, it's a cost depreciation question. Now what, I was an appraiser for a number of years and the chances of you ever really doing an appraisal are pretty thin, but it's good to know how to do this. This is to figure out the value uh, of, a, of, a, of an existing house that uh, is depreciated a little bit. We're just trying to know what, what the value is. So it says here, and this is called the cost depreciation approach. So the house is 3,000 square feet of living area, 200 square feet uh, of garage space. The lot's 150 by 110. The cost to build the living area is $80 a square foot, and the garage is $25 a square foot. And a lot of people don't know a garage costs a lot less to build than actual living area because you don't have carpet and all the other goodies that go inside the house. So garage is a lot less to, to build. Now, the lot costs $5 a square foot. The economic life of the house is 50 years, and the effective age is 10 years. Now, I've already written this out on the board, so let's take a look, and this is how I would do this. This is how I would write this out. Make sure you write everything, everything that they give you and what they're asking for. So there's a new age, uh, a new price of the house, and then a depreciated value. And we're going to figure out, we need to figure out what the depreciated value is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to break this down. So it says the living area is 3,000 square feet, and it also says that it's $80 a square foot. So I've already written it out here, so 3,000 times 80 is 240,000. And then it tells us our garage is 200 square feet by 25 bucks a square feet, a square foot, which gives us 5,000. For the garage. All right, now to build that house. Now we're not, we're not talking about including the land yet. So just to build that house, two hundred forty-five thousand dollars with the garage. So that's the brand new cost of that house. But we haven't figured out the land yet. So let's look at that. Now I've already I've figured it out here already for you. So let's let's see how I got this broken down. The land is one hundred and fifty by one ten or 16,500 square feet. So that land is 16,500 square feet big. Now, they said the question is $5 a square foot. So that land, if we multiply that times $5, the land value is $82,500. And that's your land value. I'm gonna put that in here, right here where it says land. Now there's a reason I do that. You have to remember that land never depreciates. Land never depreciates. So I can go, I can go ahead and move this number over to here. So that's 82,500 bucks, because that's not gonna change. Now it tells us in here that uh, this property, this house has depreciated some. And it tells us that it's got an effective life of 50 and it's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the economic life is 50 and the effective age is 10. So what they're saying is the house is 10 years old, looks like it's 10 years old, and it's going to maybe live 50 years total. Now the age life method, this is called the age life method, it's really easy. You take the age of the property and divide by the life. And this gives you the depreciation rate. So this house is worth 20% less than when it started. So if it's worth 20% less now, what is it worth now? Well, it's worth 80% of its value. So $245,000 times 0 0.80, that'll give us the depreciated value of this house. Now, here's what I like to figure out. It's kind of fun to look at this. So let's add these two. So this house on that lot, brand new, if you add 245 and 825, comes out to 327,500 bucks. That's brand spanking new. That's nobody's use the shower yet. That thing's brand spanking new. 327500 with the land. But the question says that this place is depreciated a little bit. So let's look at that. 80%. So that depreciation times 8.80 uh, uh, and that comes out to the new value of the, 
of the house is 196,000. All right. So we got 196,000 plus the 82,000 for the land, $500, which is going to give us the new value of $278,500. And that would be our question. That would be the depreciated value of this property. There's a depreciated value. Now, folks, this is really, it's, it's kind of simple if you, if you practice this. You, you, these are this kind, of, this kind of question you got to practice a few times. You do this a few times, and your state test is going to be a lot easier. There's a good chance you'll see one of these on your state exam. So you need to make sure and practice this. Just remember, they're going to give you everything you need to know to figure this out. I think this is where things get a little bit complicated. 10 and 50. Age divided by life. And that gives you your depreciation rate. So this is your depreciation rate. But it's got 80% left in it. So that's, what, that's the number you want to use up here. Take that brand new cost times 0 0.80 and it gives you your depreciated cost of the house and garage itself. All right? And then you just add the land together. Just like that. So, uh, folks, listen. Make sure. Take it easy on yourself. Don't let these math questions eat you up. Don't let them eat you up. Keep it simple and think them through and don't overthink them. And you can get these questions right all day. And all we did there was some math, dividing, multiplying, some add addition, and you get the question right every time. All right, just need to know where the numbers go. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video down in the corner. And we will see you in the next video. Make sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Good luck to you. Go out there and crush that exam. Thanks.